Right, so time for give you an overview now of the Queen um, box that came out just this, this month. This is the 40 Years of Queen. This is the book that came out just a few months ago. Uh, this is, uh, without a doubt, one of the best things ever come out of uh, Queen itself. Um, got a beautiful uh, front first of this, it's an amazing front. Uh, a forward by Brian May Roger Taylor. This box set includes a lavish scene sort of book of the history of Queen. Contained very photographs. I thought you had items of Fuzzy Smile, Memorabilia, a 1977 archive interview CD with the whole band. Um, so this is the outer box of it. It's a preview of what we've got in the box itself. So we've got like uh, some stuff here. We're going to show you anyway, the whole, show the whole, whole box of this and make sure it's uh, uh, good for fans. This is really good indeed. It's about £30 you can get off your the net for yeah, easy. It's very... It's actually a very good set to get, actually. It's a very nice set indeed to uh, really have. So that's the outer case. And then we've got the main case. This is the main front of the booklet. The front version of the band, which is nice. So let's look inside this book then. First of all, we've got the front page. So for years of Queen, and then we've got a CD, which this is an interview CD. I haven't played this interview CD yet, but I understand that it's quite good for Queen fans. It's a really good CD to get actually. I mean, it was really nice indeed. Lovely uh, inside. In here, we have got a replica of a Queen poster. This is a um, a replica of the Rainbow concert that was held. In London, Queen Nut, it says. <laughs> I don't know why it says Queen's for some reason. But it was Sunday, 31st of March at 7.30 pm. So the tickets were 80 pence each. God, a cheap in those days, I tell you. And there was the Rainbow Theatre. And that was a Mel Bush thing as well, which is really good indeed. It's really nice, and I love I love the way it's actually been re replicated on this, this as well. It's absolutely amazing and beautiful indeed. Very nice and lovely. Um, that's the first bit. I'll put it away later on. Okay, on to the next pet now. So we've got some stuff here from uh, Brian May and Roger Taylor first, telling us about like the main what how the book came about, and um, obviously this was to go com commemorate with the 40th anniversary of the DVD CDs that were coming out because the CDs were getting reissued re at the time. Uh, got the early years, got Smile and Family. Which is pretty nice indeed. So the same, they keep doing the same pictures of the Freddie Mercury box set, and I don't know what they keep doing that for. But they shouldn't be really, because it, it. But that's saying that it actually does authenticate that the fact that it's uh, it's just wonderful as it is. And then we've got um, this is the uh, singing professional. This isn't a studio. This is um, Delany Studios where they did their first demos, and also um, the one I think down there. I think that is from. The same session as well when they did it at that time as well, which is amazing. Good. Then we've got this other one, which is a Christmas ball. This is the University Social Representation. This is absolutely this is a replica, obviously. Um, printed on actually card as well, with nicely card as well. With that, then we got the first acetate of the Queen uh, album as well, which is really good indeed. Sorry if you can't see it very well, but it's just a we got the camera positioned on the microphone stand. Um, we've got the first Queen album here. Just by sexual uh, thing of it and stuff. And here is a Queen um, pre... I think this is a, um, a replica or something else in here. Um, yeah, this is the... Uh, this is quite nice. Got a little picture of Freddie Mercury and uh, the band there. From a very early shot of uh, the studios itself, nice. And this is a letter. This is actually a letter that was actually um, um, Ledger Records actually did uh, issue this as a normal thing of this, which is pretty good, nice indeed. And also got some uh, logo there as well. <laughs> there you go. Um, but well worth uh, reading actually, very indeed. So that's the first page. Okay, next page now. Uh, that's just basically 
a print. I don't want to be noticed by that anyway. Uh, John Deacon. Nice picture of him there. It's really nice indeed. And also here, this is a, um, in here I think, this is a promo in here I think it is. Oh no, this is actually, this is actually interesting. This, this is a map of where they were actually, uh, countries were playing. This is not, this is not original. This is actually a replica. This is, this is a brilliant, absolutely brilliant. This is a European tour, November 22nd, December 14th, 1974. So the countries that were playing that time in the year that, that was done for you see, and then obviously Tokyo was when the next one. But this is all the uh, really amazing, absolutely fantastic. I do love the way they put so much detail in this book this book as well because it's just like you can reminisce on many things of Queen and just get to the get to know exactly what the what stuff is about and stuff as well. Well that's Queen Two. And then we've got and you can't very really see very well. The camera's going a bit weird for some reason. Uh, this is a, uh, a shot of Ryan May, Freddie Mercury, stage. This is the sheer heart attack. Um, pre press, press as well. And then this is the Waller Brothers Gold Disc, which was in, issued at the time it was released. It was done. And then we've got some other pictures of Brian May at the opera. And this is interesting. This bit is very interesting. This is, this is another letter here from Freddie Mercury. And this is uh, actually this is squandered over copy. Over obviously, these are copies. Obviously, you can tell. But this is a uh, obviously we've got a letter from Freddie, the Queen one here. And we've got another one here. This is a queen as well. This is number one. I think this is number two. It's, that's John. That one's Freddie. And then this one's for Brian. This one's from Brian. At the time we're making, I think this is when they were in Japan. And then we've got one here from Roger Taylor. So there's all four queen things there, which is very, very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. Really nice indeed. I actually the way as I say love the way the presentation is on this is unbelievable. Really fantastic. Well worth buying this actually. Not bad for thirty pounds actually. Not bad. But that's uh, nice indeed. <laughs> Try and get them back in now. I don't actually know if they were going in that way. That's it, they're going that way. That's it. So obviously you've got a picture there, the famous picture of the uh, obviously the uh, one at the uh, thing they did, the one at uh, Japan. This is welcome to have Bohemian Rhapsody now. This is the one where the possibly the the press uh, one was never issued, and then we've got this here. This here is um, the replica of the C of the of the records that came out, and the way they've done it is just really good, you know. That's it. That's the size of. That's actually limited edition number thirty-six out of two hundred copies that were made, and that is really nice. That's actually a very good replica of what it is. It's unbelievable, really amazing. And we've got the posters here. Some Studios original print as well from that era. And we want Richard singles. The thing in here is we have also got here Sp Sports Day Foundation, Kempton Park, uh, fifteen pence. Wow, unbelievable! And that was the. This is what the. This is like the sort of meetings they had here and uh, nineteen seventy six meeting there. What would you be your favourite horse race to be? Really good. And then we've got a flyer here, which is the day at the races. And the bit so you can see, sorry about that. Because I've got the cameras in the wrong position, that's why I should be in there. So as you can see on TV, get your right albums sale in here. Really good indeed. And then we've got some stuff here from, uh, from also Groucho. So, sorry, that one there. Sorry, 
I can't see because I, I can't see the, the, the screen at the minute because I'm actually sometimes play all this. And there, go to Hyde Park. News the world. Um, life story revealed. Jigsaw puzzle as well, which was some of a sale. Nice article there of uh, the band itself. Really amazing uh, replica of the uh, of the newspaper print. Um, I, love the way, I just love the way they just put so much information in this book. It's just unbelievable. I think the pictures are amazing. The pictures are absolutely amazing indeed. And Freddie Mercury's just really... This is actually the, a good thing to put in here because coming soon is going to be the credit Freddie Mercury and Michael Jackson uh, uh, tapes going to be issued by Anna and Universal are going to put it together, which is finally getting released this year. And I can't wait for that. That's going to be amazing as well. And we've got the uh, famous picture of the bikes as well. Bike sequence on stage, and there's some other coin stuff in here, which is obviously the European tour. It's in 1979. We've got the tickets here, and then we've got European tour 78. It's basically telling you how. This is actually pretty interesting. It's got smoked salmon, not some biscuit as well. <laughs> you know, tea, coffee with liqueurs. Yeah. Really good. Really good. Very good indeed. Yes, yeah, so lots of the way this book is absolutely amazing. Just me and Chris have seen this, and Chris has this as well. And he says, This is worth getting this, and it is worth getting for Queen fans. It's unbelievable. Okay, so next bit we'll go with this game. And obviously. Famous picture from the game uh, album. And we've got the Flash Gordon thing. So I don't know what's in here actually. I think there's something in here, uh, but I think I could. I think I could be just a, a print. Oh no, I think it's in here. It uh, is a premiere of Flash Gordon in here, which is a ticket. It's absolutely brilliant. This is actually to also uh, come on. I think this was also the release of the CD when it came out at the time as well. Um, but absolutely amazing that. I actually didn't know about that, actually. <laughs> I didn't know that was in there. So that's great. Get in. Get in. There you go. Right. Okay, so next to go on is to obviously take me from the picture of the uh, that was used. On the CD of um, Rare Cuts, Volume 2, 1, 2, and 3, which are quite recommended actually because the sound quality is very good indeed. And then we've got uh, Queen 81, Brazilian Tour. So this is like a TV bandaris thing, uh, replica of it as well. So we've got some merchandise in there as well. I think that's all there is in yeah, merchandise. Fans, photos. Nice shot of the. Queen uh, on stage. Uh, it's actually at the um, the one they used on the DVD release. And the greatest hits, best album ever made. We reissues actually brilliant. The sound quality is amazing. That one, Hard Space, the one that's not the best of Queen's work, with a replica of. I don't. That's a cube. You put it together. It's a cube. There you see. It's a cube. So we're together to Cuba. Just, okay. But I didn't I'm not gonna resemble that together. So leave it as it is. <laughs> and then the works. Probably the heaviest album ever done by Queen. It's unbelievable that album is. With the original lyrics for Hamlet Fall in here. Oh, Cameron's gone. Uh, original lyrics for Hamlet Fall. And made up gargoyles in there as well. And then we've got the Queen, as I say there. Just so much to put in this book is unbelievable, really amazing. And I think the final bit of thing in here, just wonderful pictures in here of it. This is uh, the, obviously this is this is the Queen uh, ticket thing for Nebworth Park, which is the, uh, which is actually a copy of it. So it's like Nebworth Park. Uh, Last concert ever did on the time. Unbelievable. Uh, 
and then just comment on the final bits now. And then we've got six day massive poster thing here, which is bloody huge. It's quite big actually. I can't be showing camera, but it says uh, and the miracle occurred on the sixth day, June the sixth. Yeah. Or the miracle album. Great pull out there, amazing. We do shots of the band, innuendo, innuendo stuff, and pretty much nice actually. Another view replica of the Freddie Mercury tribute as well on that, which is really good indeed. And the final album, Made in Heaven, with a final uh, group photo of the band, and a gorgeous replica of its beautiful day. So if any Queen fans really want this, get it, it's unbelievable. And also, in the back of this, we've got stickers in here as well, which I would never use. Stickers to add on the actual uh, things you want. So you get that for free. And you also get, also, another poster in here, which is, I think this is a rainbow concert one of those. Crazy Tour of London, which is a pretty big for camera, but yeah, Crazy Tour of London, which is uh, Crazy Tour of HMV as well. <laughs> and there we are. So that's it. That's the overview of the 40th year anniversary of Queen. I uh, do recommend people to buy this. It's absolutely fantastic. So get your money on it now and get it. It is unbelievable. So do urge you to buy it. This is great. It's great for all Queen fans. So get it, it is brilliant.